video we will show you how to use the new fast Terraform resources to deploy application. For this use case, we will deploy an application, an HTTPS application, using an LTM policy. So we can specify based on HTTP criteria to you select a pool or a WAF policy. So one of the use cases will be in public cloud when you have only one public IP, so one virtual server and you have one LTM policy and you can select the pool based on the host name, the URI and also the WAF policy that will be attached to the specific branch of your LTM policy. I'm connected to a big IP. I have one, I have few virtual server created, but nothing uh, that we want currently. So let's check the different files that we need in Terraform. I will start with the variable one. So I have some variable policy name partition. You will understand just after that will be used. So the policy name will be for the LTM policy and the partition. It's, we will specify uh, the partition for some of the elements that will be in common, for example. As usual, I'm specifying the providers. So uh, we need the version at least 1.16 of the big IP provider uh, to be able to use the latest uh, resources we created. And we have some variables that are set up here. So you can see the partition, the policy name that will be used in our main file. The main file. So we will start creating one AWAF policy for the app one. These two specific resources are time slip uh, to wait between the creation of different elements. We will also create an AWAF for app2, so an WAF policy for app2. We will create a third WAF policy for the restricted. And we have a default WAF policy. We will create a pool one and adding a specific pool member to the pool one. We are creating a pool two and adding a pool member to the pool two. We are creating also a pool restricted and we will be using a module so the module we will get to github to sp get some specific uh, files to create the, the resources what it's inside it's the ltm policy because we are providing some information here and that will help us to create the ltm policy okay so it's based on the uh, LTM policy uh, re Terraform resources that is available for the big IP. We are just using the module to help us to create the different rules we want and the different element. And as you can see, we have one rule for the app one, specifying the policy name and the pool. Second rule for app two, the WAF policy and the pool. Restricted, again, the WAF policy are restricted and the pool restricted and we have the default policy because when you are using a WAF policy inside LTM policy you need a default policy and the default rule you can see that we will some criteria will be based on the host name other will be based on the URI okay and the latest element that we need to create is the fast HTTPS resources, specifying the name, the tenant, the IP address, the port, the key and the certificate that we are using, snap pool, the LTM policy, so the one we are creating just before will be used there, and we are also specifying a log profile. So let's start with the Terraform init minus upgrade. Okay, all is good. So now let's do the Terraform plan. Quite a lot of information in the Terraform plan. So let's go up here. So it will create, because there is nothing existing, the fast HTTPS application. So with all the information we provided, 
pool one, pool two, pool restricted, adding the pool member to the pool we selected. The WAF policy for the app one, the WAF policy for the app two, the WAF default policy, the restricted one, the two time slip that we will be using, the module to create the LTM policy. So you can see that it's the big IP LTM policy that will be used with a lot of information here because it's uh, when you create an LTM policy, there's a lot of action condition that you can select. And it's why we created the module to make it a little bit more clear, but you see all the information when you do the Terraform plan. So now let's do the Terraform apply and check what's happening. So it starts creating the uh, pool restricted, the WAF policy, and so on, the different elements, and it will go down until the, the fast uh, HTTPS app, because that will be the latest element to be created. So we are spending some time creating the, the two WAF policy, the app one, WAF two. The app one is created, uh, and the app 2 will come shortly after. Yes, it's done. We are waiting a little bit so to be sure that the WAF policy are created and the database on the AWAF is up, dated. So that's good. Uh, now we are creating the restricted policy to be sure that there's no problem on it. And so it's creating the restricted policy. So that's good, it's finished. Now we will wait to, to be sure that the AWAF database is updated and be ready to uh, for the default policy, the latest uh, WAF policy to be created. It will take a short time and that will be good soon. And after that, we will create the module, so the LTM policy, and after that, the latest piece will be the fast HTTPS app. So when it's creating the latest part, let's have a look at what has been created. So we have the pool one, pool two that have been created. Uh, we have the LTM policy here, that it's here, with the different rules, okay. We have also the different WAF policies, so app one, app two, default and restricted, that are linked to my virtual server. So if the virtual server is here, tenant is here, and we have the virtual server. So we have two virtual servers, the redirection that it's sending the traffic that it's going to the port 80 to the port 443, and here we have the configuration. So if we go to the security part, there is no policy apply. We can see the log profile, but to see what is applied in terms of configuration, we need to go there. So there is no default pool. You can set up one if you want, but you don't need because you are using the LTM policy to create everything. I hope you understand the how powerful are the, these new resources.